Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Today, we are doing an update on my plier drawer, okay? I did, when I first got this box and I put my tools in there initially, I set it up a different way. And after using it for about a month now, I decided to change it and this is what I came up with. So. I'm going to walk you through some of the different pliers I have and uh, but do me a favor give me a, uh, if you like this type of content do me a favor subscribe to the channel like the video and leave a comment and let me know what types of videos you want to see or what you're interested in okay uh, I'm doing this video for because I'm, I'm a tool addict and I like collecting tools I like using them and you know, one of the questions, you know, a lot of people ask is, how many pliers do I actually need? Do I need each different type? And I'm going to give you my answer at the end of the video. Well, obviously, you can tell I have a lot of different types and I like them. So let's, let, let's take a look at a few of them, okay? Let's see. We're going to start over here. And these are... Uh, the cheap Pittsburgh uh, hose pliers, okay? Nothing fancy, but they work. And I think I had a set of two of these that, that came in here, this size is a little bit bigger. I have the other one somewhere, maybe in another box. But um, I don't even know what I paid for them, probably seven bucks for, for both of them. But they're long reach, they're easy to, to get in there, uh, Wiggle off the plier, or I mean uh, the hose. And why should you spend 70 bucks for a snap-on when you can get this? It does the same job as something you hardly ever use. It has, you know, these somewhat soft grip handles. And they get the job done. So anyway, I got no complaints about these. So we'll put them back. And, and it's the same thing uh, with these long bent nose uh, needle nose and straights they're just they're just Pittsburgh but they work all right next one this is a set of regular channel locks I think they're looks like 10 inch these are Tecton I believe I don't remember what I paid for them probably nine bucks eleven bucks but hey they get the job done right bada boom bada bing uh, this is this is also Tecton, I think. Now, I, I like these long reach snips or uh, dikes. But hey, these work just fine. The price is right, I bought them. All right, moving on. This is part of the bolt batter system, gear wrench. Uh, I've had these now a little while and I'm not impressed. I mean, I, I like, I, um, oh, what's that brand? Knipix. I have a pair of those I'll show you in a minute. I like them a lot better. But this came with, with, with a kit of many of them or different ones. So I say, what the heck? Let me give it a shot. I do like their new logo and their colors, but I don't think this is worth getting. I mean, that's just my opinion. It, it, if you think otherwise, leave it in the comment. Let me know. Now, these ones, this is part of the bolt biter system, but this is the, uh, they have a newer version where it's, it's more like this color, the black and yellow. I actually like this color better. And I like these dip handles, but these, these have been fantastic. Let's see. And this kit came with three, um, the Lyman's pliers, the needle nose and the dikes. And they, these have been fantastic. All right, let's moving on. These are fairly new. This is Dole brand, duck bill pliers. And I didn't think these would come in that handy, but you know what, I've been using them quite a bit. Let's see if we can get, if we can look at the. And these have been very handy, <laughs> even for something as simple as pulling um, zip ties. But I like them. They have a bigger nose than needle nose. 
All right. And these are just some cheapo old Harbor Freight ones. This is OEM uh, clamp off tool. I'm not really impressed with these either. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is the Bremen soft grip uh, needle nose uh, vice grips. The, I love this brand. Harbor Freight came out with this brand a while back. And this soft grip quick release handle it works out great. I actually just bought another pair that looks just like this, but for the bigger uh, vice grips. This is my bigger one. This is <clears throat> vice grip brand. But uh, but like I said, I bought the Bremen. I just haven't put it in here yet. It's still in the package. All righty. Okay, this is just one of them uh, wire pullers, twisters. Just cheapo, Harbor Freight. But it works. Let's see. What else we got in here? These are Carlisle strippers. And these work good. I also have uh, Klein, but I had them in my electrical kit. Let's see. Okay, these are just um, tools for the, the the panels on the cars. Pop out the little plastic things. This is just a pair of needle nose Kinepics. Another one, I think. Uh, Vice Grip brand. No, this is the. Oh, what brand is this? Irwin, yeah. And this works pretty good. No big deal. All right. This is a small set of pliers. Uh, Knip, or not Knipix, uh Tecton. And this is dull pliers. No big deal. This is, um, oh, what brand is the blue brand? Channel Lock. Yeah, these are just regular pliers. No big deal. And cheapos, old Lyman's. Uh, old filter wrench is cheapo Harbor Freight. Hose pinch off pliers, Harbor Freight, cheapo. No big deal. What's this one? Oh, this is a Tecton old filter wrench. All right, let's 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 see what else is worth mentioning. All right. This is, uh, these are similar to the vent pliers for extracting screws that are rounded off. These work great. Outstanding. Uh, let's see, just some cheapo um, hose hose clamp, you know, squishers, flush cutters. Okay, my snap on um, hose hose clamp pliers, uh, Pittsburgh ones, and. Uh, Oh, yeah, this channel lock. Now, I love this channel lock. I love the handles a little bit bigger than these. Uh, I use these the most. But these are Pittsburgh ones, and, and this ain't bad. You know, they switch between internal and external. I, I got no complaints with those. It's just I do like the channel lock ones better. Now, these are my Kinepix pipe pliers compared to um, the gear wrench ones. This is so much better. And this is not even the newest design, but these are fantastic. I love these. And then we have the Knipix. I thought these, I would use these a lot. And they work fine. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't seem to use them that much. But I got a good deal on them, so I finally bought them. I gave in. I gave in to my temptation because I am a tool addict. And then just some more OEM pinch off things. Like I said, they're not that great. But once again, we thank you for your time here at Jones and, Jones and for Tools. Your time is valuable. And, and we appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us. Uh, don't forget to, to subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you on our next video. Have a great day.